Thank you, Lord. There is none like Thank unto you, you. Jesus. Thank you. The beginning, the end. Oh, Papa. Father, we have started this fast. Yes, Lord Jesus. Believing that you, O oh Lord, yes, Lord, will answer us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Papa. Let your name be exalted. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, As Lord. we go into this moment of your word. Yes, Lord Jesus. And prayer. Amen. Take all the glory. Take all the praise, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. And all the saints in the house say loud, Amen. Amen. Jump their hands onto the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory, Lord. Glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. And I want us to sit in his presence. Hallelujah. You can move. You can move into the crowd to see. Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, we are looking into the word, the broom of destruction. I will be teaching from PowerPoint that I've prepared. Between now and Friday, I'll be teaching on PowerPoint. Maybe two times or three times before we end, so that you understand better. So we're looking at the broom of destruction. Now look at that broom very well. Look at that broom very well. Is that a broom? Is that a broom? It's a broom. All right. So how can this be a weapon? How can this be a weapon? We have heard from some so-called wishes that confessed some of them says the broom is a, is a plane in the spiritual world. They put it between the two legs and they're off. Hallelujah. But it's so funny that most of the time We don't understand certain things that we use as domestic instruments. Now, most of those domestic instruments are weapons of warfare. The knife in your office, in your, the knife in your kitchen, the fake in your kitchen, the spoon in your kitchen, all those things are, spiritual, they are weapons of spiritual warfare. Your spoon can be possessed by a witch and it's clean, 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 clean the way you wash it. But it can be possessed by just blowing a breeze on it and they leave it in the kitchen. Your son or your daughter or you, the first person that uses it, contacts that power. That is why they call it magical. That is why they call it magical. Because their work is so magical that you don't understand where it's coming from. That makes it supernatural. Hallelujah. So today, we are looking at the broom of destruction. So let's see common meaning of broom. Let's look at common meaning, like, for example, the broom you are using in, the, in, 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 in your house, in the village. I believe maybe you can see it there. A broom is an instrument to sweep. 
It's an instrument to sweep. Sometimes maybe your eyes might not see it from there, but I'm, I'm reading it. It's an instrument to sweep, also referred as a mop. Sometimes we call it mop stick. Isn't that so? Sometimes we call it sweeper. Or you call it floor or carpet brush. You call it what? Floor or carpet brush. And sometimes we call it duster. That is the meaning of a broom. But in Latin word, a broom is called besom. Besom is used in some Bible interpretations. So when you see besom in some Bible um, version, so you know they are talking about broom. Because that is the Latin word of broom. Sometimes we call it besom or besom. Now we go further to say, so a broom is a kind of brush or sweeper or duster used for sweeping dirty or, or scattered things on the floor or removing cobwebs. So you can use broom to do what? To remove cobwebs. The broom we are talking about is so you have it in different shapes. That is why I brought you the first one is different from this. This is another version of broom that is on the background there. So, the definition of the structure, don't forget, we are talking about broom of destruction. So, I've explained to you what broom is. Then, what is destruction? Destruction is an act of destroying eliminating, overthrowing, liquidating, or murdering. Then I put it in the version right there. I said there, this destruction is an act of destroying, eliminating, overthrow, liquidation, or murder. That is action. When you take it form of action. But when we take it in form of continuous terms, we are now saying eliminating, overthrowing. You get it? All right. So now, look at it now. So when we talk about broom of destruction, we are talking about a broom that destroys or a broom that eliminates eh, dirty things out of your body or dirty things out of your environment. Broom that overthrows Broom that liquidates, broom that costs murder. So, which means they can use broom from what I've just given to you there. They can use broom to destroy whatever you have achieved. Let me now break it now down. You, you get me? So, broom of destruction, I gave you the definition of destruction. So, which means broom can be used to destroy whatever thing you have gathered. It can be used to scatter it. <laughs> Somebody get him in a... I want you to get that deep IQ, understanding. So broom can be used to eliminate a man or eliminate a woman or eliminate children. So broom can be used for elimination. So broom can be used to overthrow Or cause your business to liquidate. Somebody can come to your business house and use broom to even hit the door, hit the door, hit the door with a word. Nothing can work if words are not spoken. Words must come, was what? Words must be combined. With the instrument. It's like a gun without a bullet. It's empty. Hello? It's like a gun without a bullet. It's empty. So, for every instrument to work, there must be what? A bullet. So, your mouth is
is the one that releases the missile, that releases the bullets. So the broom can be an instrument that is known for its purpose. Hello, you get it? So the broom is an instrument that is known for the purpose. So we have talked about the purpose that these instruments are used. These are some certain things that you need to be learning in church and not just coming to church to, to start to manifest and will stay there for one hour, two hours. You are learning nothing. But with this, you can fight demons. With these words, you can fight whoever is fighting you. Amen. That is why you need to be equipped. That is why knowledge is very important. Education is for a trade. Hear me? Education, you go to university, is for a trade. So if you go to a university, you, you study the education, is that education trade? That is why we call it faculty. Faculty of science. Faculty of art. Are you getting it? So, so you, 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 education makes you to learn a trade. You're an artist. Faculty of art. So you, 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 you learn that trade. But knowledge is for battle. Knowledge is for creativity. You can be educated and cannot create. Are you getting that? You can be educated and you cannot create anything for you to... We have seen doctors that work for 38 years in the hospital. They have no knowledge to create their own hospital. Medical doctors, psychologists, accountants, quantity surveys, they don't have, they are afraid to start their own thing. But with knowledge, helping your education, you'll find out you become what? A terror in the world. Amen. Because knowledge is helping you to discover who you are. Education is helping you to communicate more when you know who you are. But knowledge is the only thing that makes you not fear. Education, education can still put fear in you. You can be educated and still be afraid. But any man that has knowledge is not afraid of anything. He step out and start something and conquer it. That is why you have to look for knowledge. He said, my people perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. You can have education and still fail because you are afraid for the future. Are you getting that? So let's now see the spiritual meaning, the spiritual meaning of broom of destruction. Now look at this broom now. This is a different type of broom. I think this is a different type of broom. This is the type of broom we use in. Nigeria, West Africa, this is the type of broom we are using. I don't know if of Ambuland you people are using this one. You have this one also? All right. So, do you know that this broom in West Africa, they use it to whip witches and they start to confess? That is how powerful this broom is. If anyone is discovered as a witch, the first thing they use it, they use it to flog you. The moment they flog you, you start to confess and you enter the witchcraft. It's so serious. So, spiritual meaning of broom of destruction the broom of destruction was a prophetic weapon in the hands of an angry God. The broom of destruction was a prophetic weapon in the hands of an angry God. A token of divine wrath. 
In God's end, the broom is for punishment. The broom, spiritually, don't forget, I'm looking into spiritual area now. Spiritually, they can use broom when somebody is sick, they can use broom to wipe the person like this and say, every sickness in you, I strip it out of your body. And two days later, you see that thing, the whole thing is gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so, but in the hands of God, this broom is a token of divine wrath. And you are going to see in the scripture how God used this broom. Sometimes you say, oh, Bishop, how this kind of dangerous weapon you are teaching us? Yes, come and ask me. I teach you more how to use it. Yes. You can use it to sweep the legs of every demonic powers that have visited your house. You say, but this man is going diabolical now. It's not diabolical. These are spiritual things. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. So if other pastors are afraid to teach it, me, I am called to Namibia to teach you. I must teach you. You get it? So, if a broom is being used for cleaning, it could also figuratively represent a weapon to sweep out demons and evildoers from holy places. So, in the physical, it's used to sweep. In the spiritual, we are going to see now from the original spiritual purpose for the broom. So let's look at the original spiritual purpose of these brooms. The original spiritual purpose for these brooms. So look at this very one now. I'm going to explain this. Then we go into prayers. I'm going to explain it. Original spiritual purpose for the broom of the structure. Media, can you give me Isaiah chapter 12? Maybe we'll read up to that. But let me explain everything before we go to Isaiah. The Bible says, God has already prepared the broom of destruction that the armies of heaven used to cast Satan out of heaven. So that was actually what they used to cast out Satan out of heaven. That was what they used to cast out Satan from heaven. Secondly, Lot and his family was also cast out from the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Hello? So it's used to sweep and clean. So thirdly, Nebuchadnezzar was also cast out of Babylon. Isaiah 34 verse 10 to 12. So now, let's go first and see if they mention anything broom in Isaiah 14, 12 to 23. Let's go. Please follow me. Hallelujah. Now, he said, how you are falling from heaven. How you are falling from heaven. O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are caught down to the ground. You who weaken the nations. Nations there is a metaphor. It represents people. You who weaken the people. Alright, verse 13. Let's go quick. Let's go quick. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest side of the north. On this farthest side of the north. Don't forget when I was teaching 
I said, man was placed in southeast. Don't forget. Man was placed what? Southeast. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil was placed where? Northeast. So that is why he said, side of the north. So when he says side of the north, he's talking about northeast. Because that was where it was. So go ahead. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. I will be like the most high. So these are the things he was saying. Can we continue? 15. Yet you shall be brought down to Sio to the lowest depths of the pit. 16. Those who see you will gaze at you and consider you saying is this the man who made the earth tremble who shook kingdoms who made the world as a wilderness and destroyed its cities who did not open the house of his prisoners all the kings of the nation all of them sleep in glory, everyone in his own house. 19. But you are cast out of your grave like an amiable branch, like the garment of those who are slain, thrust through with a sword, who go down to the stones of the pit, like a corpse trodden underfoot. You will, be, you will not be joined with them in burial because you have destroyed your land and slain your people. The brood of evildoers shall never be named. Prepare, prepare slaughter for his children because of the iniquity of their fathers. Lest they rise up and possess the land and fill the face of the world with cities. For I, look now, this is where it comes now. For I will rise up, I will rise up against them, says the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and offspring and posterity says the Lord 23 everybody read it am I the writer Am I the writer? So what is the broom of destruction doing there? Eh? What is the broom of destruction doing there? He said, I will sweep it with the broom of destruction. I will sweep it with the broom of destruction, says the Lord of God. I will sweep it. First of all, he said, I will also make it a possession for porcupine. For porcupine. In some of your Bible, is written how? O-W-L. How do you call it how? This one with big, big eyes. Eh? Huh? How? Do you know the meaning of how? The meaning of how is a thief. So when you see, go into your damn dictionary. Some of you don't compare your Bible terms or dictionary. And how is a thief? Sometimes they call it, they call it um, a crook. And how is a crook? Is a thief. 
If you go into your dictionary, you'll see many meanings about it. So he said, he's talking about, he said, I will make it where the porcupine, uh, uh, porcupines stays and I will do what? I will sweep it with a broom of destruction. So my brothers and sisters, you'll find out that when the devil was cast down, it was the broom of destruction that they used to sweep his feet out of the heavens. Then let's jump into Nebuchadnezzar's side. Let's see Isaiah 34, verse 10 to 12. Isaiah 34, verse 10 to 12. There are many scriptures, but due to time, we are going to read this one and pray. What is the Bible saying? It said, it shall not be quenched night or day. Its smoke shall ascend forever. From generation to generation, it shall lie waste. Where will lie waste? Where will lie waste? Because you didn't start it from the, the up. Babylon. He's talking about Babylon. How great Babylon is. But they start to do what they start to challenge the power of God. Then he said that, that place that is going to destroy it, is going to lay it a waste. No one shall pass through it forever and ever. Verse 11. He said, but the pelican and the porcupine shall possess it. The pelican and the porcupine shall possess it. Also the owl. You see it now? Also the owl and the raven shall dwell in it. And it shall stretch out over it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. Go ahead. They shall call its nobles to the kingdom. To the kingdom. But none shall be there. And all its prince shall be nothing. So now give me Old King James. Old King James. Give me the old King James. The old King James fashion. Are we there? Hallelujah. So, so he's talking about Nebuchadnezzar. They will sweep Nebuchadnezzar out of the land of Babylon. They will sweep him out of the land of Babylon. So I wanted to get the scripture so that we see. But there are many scriptures that talked about many scriptures that talk about, about it. Give me from 10 to 12 again. Old King James Version. Okay. Let me see 11. Okay. Let me see verse 12. I'm looking for the part that is said the broom the broom of destruction but it's fine it's fine the broom of destruction is what God used is a weapon of warfare it's a weapon of warfare and it's a weapon that we must actually um, understand that God used it for battles he sends it to these people and they use it for battles. So all these weapons are weapons that we are using for these 21 days to see that these 21 days battle is really, really, really in battle. Hallelujah. Can we see Amplified Bible? Amplified Bible. 
Let's see Amplified Bible. Okay. 11. 11. Okay, 12. Okay, let's see 13. Maybe what I'm looking for is in 13. Let's see 13. Let's see 13. Go to 13. Okay, 14. I think it's Eden somewhere there. Amen. 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 So we need to really, really understand this battle because it's a battle of warfare that we must, we must fight and win. It's a battle of warfare we must fight and win. Can you give me Psalm 144 verse 6? Psalm 144 verse 6. Let me, I just want to show us one or two places in the Bible. Psalm 144 verse 6. He said, cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot out the arrows and destroy them. Okay. Let's 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 go on because I need to give you those scriptures of the broom of destruction. Hallelujah. Let's go into prayer tonight. Let's go into prayer tonight. There's a particular scripture I've been trying to get in there. But let's go into prayer tonight. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will locate it tomorrow as we start the prayers tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So the broom of destruction we have seen in the book of Isaiah chapter 14 from 12 to 23. Hallelujah. So Lucifer was chased out from heaven with the broom of destruction. Hallelujah. So let's go into prayer tonight as we stand up and take at least Seven to nine prayers tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Are we ready to pray? Yes, sir. Number one. Say every broom of wickedness. Every broom of wickedness. That have swept away my destiny. That have swept away my destiny. And help us. And help us. I arrest you. I arrest that power in, in the name of name. Jesus Christ. Pray. Every broom of wickedness that have swept yes, away yes, my destiny. Yes, 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 yes. Help pray, us pray, 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 pray. Every, Every broom, broom of wickedness they have used Every to yes. sweep my helpers away from me. Pray, pray, I pray. destroy that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 I yes, yes, destroy that power in the name of Jesus. Every, Every broom, broom of wickedness, wickedness that they have used to sweep my helpers away from me. They have used to sweep my helpers away from me. I destroy that power in the name of Jesus. I destroy that power. I destroy that power. Pray, Every pray, broom pray. of wickedness they have Every used to sweep my helpers away from me. I destroy that power. Broom of, of wickedness. Broom of wickedness. I destroy. I have swept my helpers. My helpers away from me. And helpers. I arrest you tonight. In the name of Jesus. I destroy that power. Broom of wickedness that have swept my helpers away. I reject that power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, media, put the prayer points on. You evil broom of lack that swept my riches into poverty and shame. I command God's broom of destruction on you in Jesus' name. Pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, every broom that has swept my way, I will pass out to the Baba 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 into poverty, into poverty in the name of and Jesus. shame, and shame. The power in the I name command of God's broom of I command broom in the name of Jesus. I command pray, God's broom in the name of Jesus Christ. Lady Papa Pagasatala Bashi. I command God's broom in the name of Jesus Christ. I command God's broom upon the power. Yes, pray, pray, pray. Papa Papa Gazatala Bashi. Command it, command it. I destroy the power in the name of Jesus. I destroy the power in the name of Jesus. Destroy the power. I command God's broom of power. Destroy the power. Destroy the power. In the name of Jesus. Destroy the power. Destroy the power. Destroy the power. Destroy the power. In the name of Jesus. I destroy the power. In the name of Jesus. I destroy the power. In the name of Jesus. I destroy the power. In the name of Jesus. I destroy the power. You evil broom of black. You evil broom of black. That I'm taking my riches. That I'm taking my riches into poverty. I command the God's room to destroy you. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power. I destroy the power of black. I destroy the power of black. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power. You in the room of Jesus, in my riches. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power. I destroy the I destroy the power. I destroy the power. I destroy the power. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power. I destroy the power. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy the power. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy the power. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power. You evil broom, you evil broom, you evil broom that cause black in my riches to poverty. I destroy that power. I call God's broom to destroy you. In I the name of the Jesus. Power in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I want to explain something before we continue. The prayer tonight. We are in prayer three. But I want, to, I want us to compare Matthew 12, 44. Media, Matthew 12, 44. And the same Isaiah that we just read. But give it to me. A new living translation. Give it to me in a new living translation. Isaiah 34. So that we compare, then we go into prayers again. So that you understand what we are doing tonight. Look at it, the Bible says. Not, not 34, 1, 34, 11. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, it will be haunted by the days at all. And this, this what? The, the screech. Is this screech? Okay, how? The screech how? The great how? And the raving. For God will measure that land carefully. He will measure it for cures and destruction. It will measure it for what? Cures and destruction. Verse 12 of it, verse 12 of it, he said, it will be called the land of nothing and all its noble will soon be gone. 13. Thorns will walk over around its palaces, nettles, tessels, Will, go, will grow in its force. The rains will become a horn for jackals and a home for owls. That is how powerful the broom of destruction is. When it's upon someone, you find out dangerous animals becomes your friend. Then look now, Matthew 12, I want us to compare it, the Go into prayer. That is the 
prayer we are going to pray. Number three prayer. Look at it. Then it says, I will return to the person I came from. Who is saying? The demon that have been swept. Yes. The demons that have been swept. He said, I will return to the house I came from. So, it returns and finds its former home empty, swept and in order. Swept and in order. Because they like to stay in a place that is swept. Tonight, we are going to pray. Yes. Number three prayer. You evil doers. You evil doers. I command you. I command, I command you to carry your rubbish. To carry, carry your, your rubbish. As I march into excellence. As I march into excellence. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ, you, you evil, evil doers. doers. I command you carry your rubbish, carry your rubbish, carry your rubbish, carry your wickedness. As I march into excellence, as I carry your rubbish, you evil do. Carry your rubbish in the name of Jesus. Carry your rubbish. Carry your rubbish in the name of Jesus. Carry your rubbish in the name of Jesus. Carry your rubbish as I march into excellence. I command you. Carry your rubbish as I march into excellence. As I march into excellence, carry your rubbish. You in the name of Jesus, I command you to carry your rubbish. You evil do us, carry your rubbish. You evil do us, carry your rubbish. Carry your wickedness, carry your rubbish. In the mighty name of Jesus, carry your rubbish. 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 Carry your rubbish.
broom of honor and glory. Broom, broom of, of honor, honor and, and glory. glory. Sweep away my shame. Sweep away, away my shame. In Jesus' in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, group of honor and glory. Sweep away my shame. In the name of Jesus, group of honor and glory. Sweep away my shame. Sweep away my shame. Sweep away my shame. Rada ba 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 ba. Group of honor and glory. Sweep away my shame. I command you to sweep away my shame. In Jesus' name. Group of honor and glory. Sweep away shame and disgrace. Every shame in my life. Every shame in my life. Every shame in my life. Group of honor and glory. Sweep away shame and disgrace. Amen. The powers of evil. Powers, powers of, of evil. evil competing with my God. Competing, competing with, with my God. God. I sweep you out of my life. I sweep you out of my life. In, in Jesus' name. name. In Jesus' name. Powers of evil. Competing with my God. Powers of evil. Competing with my God. I sweep you out of my life. I sweep you out. I sweep you out. I sweep you out. I sweep you out. I sweep you out of my life. I sweep you out of my life. I sweep you out of my life. Out. 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 Out of my life. Out of my life. I sweep you out of my life. I sweep you out of my life. Amen. Powers of evil. Powers, powers of, of evil. evil competing with my God. Competing, competing with my God. I sweep you out of my life. I sweep you out of my life in the name of Jesus. Powers of evil competing with my God. I sweep you out of my life. Out, 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 out. I sweep you out of my life. I sweep you out of my life. Wicked powers, power of evil. I sweep you out of my God. I sweep you out. I sweep you out. I sweep you out. I sweep you out. Out of my life. Out of my family. Out of my business. Ah, ah, hey man, broom of vengeance, broom of vengeance, arise, arise, arise in your anger, in your, in your anger. anger, and sweep off, and sweep off every sorrow, every sorrow hidden in my life, hidden in my life, in Jesus' in the name, in of Jesus' Christ, name, sweep off, broom of vengeance, arise, sweep it out in the name of Jesus. Every solo hidden in my life, every solo hidden in my life, every solo hidden in my family, every solo hidden in my children, every solo hidden in my children, group of hunger, arise and sweep it out, and sweep it out in the name of Jesus, group of sorrow, arise and sweep it out. Say, I invoke, I invoke. The weapon of the broom of destruction. The weapon of the broom of destruction. Sweep away. Sweep away. away. Every demonic presence. Every, Every demonic, demonic presence. presence. In my house. In, in my house. house. In the name of Father, Jesus. Father, sweep it away in the name of Jesus. Sweep them away. Sweep them away. Every demonic presence. Every demonic power. Every demonic presence. Sweep it away in the name of Jesus. Sweep them away. 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 Sweep them away.
Oh Lord, use the broom of destruction to polish my enemies, to polish my enemies, to polish my enemies. Oh Lord, use the broom of destruction to polish my enemies. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, we thank you for our Jesus. That every power that I've suffered all, every power that I've derailed all, every power that I've manipulated all, both our brain and our spirit, any power that I've intimidated all, both our brain and our spirit, let that power be subject to the proof of destruction. Amen! Amen. I say, let that power be subject to the proof of this Amen. Amen. That every yes, step ba, ba, we ba, take, Every path we follow, may the proof of destruction follow my enemy. be laid against our hands. Amen. Amen. I say, may they be laid against our hands. Amen. Amen. In the name of, of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. That you have made it possible. Yes. That the broom of destruction the 15, is a 16. weapon for our 15 day of fast. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we give you glory. In Jesus name. That no power of the enemy will follow our path. In the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. No power of yes, wickedness will follow our path. In the name Amen. of Jesus. No power of wickedness yes, Lord Jesus. will follow our path. Amen. Amen. No power of wickedness. Yes, my father, my will father. Follow our path. Amen. Amen. Diseases Rapa will not follow our In the name Amen. of Jesus. Affliction will not follow our path. In the name of Jesus. Name Amen. Of Jesus. Poverty my father. Jesus. will not follow our path. Amen. Amen. We use the broom of destruction. Yes, broom of destruction. So sweep up we sweep yes, them Lord. out. From this church. We yes, sweep Lord. it out. We use the broom of destruction. Yes, Lord. To sweep out poverty, poverty yes, Lord. in our family, in the name yes, of Jesus, in our business, in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus, we use the broom of this to sweep their legs out of great city, in the name of Jesus, as they sweep their legs, we sweep it out of great city, we sweep it out of great city, we sweep it, we sweep, 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 sweep them out of great every leg of evil doers, of evil doers, we sweep them, we sweep them out of great city, 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 out of great city. Out out of of in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, Amen. we thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord Jesus. For every single Jesus. prayer we have prayed. Yes, Lord. We need an answer, Lord. Yes, Papa. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And all the saints say it loud, Amen. Amen. I want you to bring out your offering as I close from social media. God bless you. This is Dr. Bishop Henry Dosiokia from Grace City. This is Grace City. 21 days of fast. Come tomorrow, 6 p.m. We are fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 p.m. We come for the manifestation of weapons of warfare. God bless you for contributing, for sharing. Those of you, our YouTube page, subscribe. Just subscribe. Jesus. Keep subscribing. God bless you. Amen. Bye. See you tomorrow. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we are praying the prayer of Acts of God. Hallelujah. Acts of God. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, Acts of God. Acts of God. Amen. Amen. Acts of God. Father, thank you.